on TV. Couples and Christmas trees, gift wrapping and cheer. Just the hey, you guys, welcome back to another video. So if you haven't already read the title, in today's video I'll be showing you guys some Christmas DIYs. So I found a bunch of different little cute Christmas DIYs for you guys that I'll be showing you how to make in today's video. Other than that, let's just get right into the video. So basically for this DIY, I will be making a Christmas stocking. I'm just going to be putting up some pictures of some Christmas stocking right up on the screen so you guys know what I'm thinking. But basically I saw this really cute little pink, um, what's it called, Christmas stocking on Pinterest and just thought it would look so cute and would go so well, well with my room. So for the first year why we're going to make a Christmas stocking as I just told you guys. So first you just pick out your fabric of choice. I chose this pink gingham fabric but as you can see it's really wrinkly so I really quickly just ironed it a bit to make it a bit smoother. I then took my old um, Christmas stocking and traced around it and after that you just cut out two pieces. It's really important you cut out two um, Christmas stockings to make. After that I just cut out this little piece just to decorate the front of the stocking and I add a little bit of lace. I then sewed the lace and the little fabric piece on so it was stuck. Um, I want to point out you can also use glue like hot glue instead if you don't know how to sew or you can also sew in hand. You can just see I also added a little hanger so it can hang of course and this is just how it's looking. I just sewed across like that. After you've done that, you take the other piece and you face the like pretty sides towards each other, just like that. So the ugly sides are facing out and after that I just pinned the whole thing so I can sew around it. I need to point out you do not sew the top because of course you need to have an opening so you can put stuff inside. But this is basically how it turned out. After I sewed it, I just turned it inside out. And lastly, I just added this little bow just to make it a little bit more, you know, just to give it a little bit more. So yeah, this is how it ended up looking. So as you guys can see, this is how the christmas stocking ended up turning out i feel like it turned out so adorable and it literally goes so with, well with my other like christmas decorations you just see like this you know <laughs> it looks i feel like it just looks so cute and just goes so well, well with my room um overall this was such an easy diy i think and super cute as well so yeah i rate this diy a 10 out of 10 i definitely recommend it so for the next day why I'm going to be making a Christmas candle. Um I've seen these like really cute Christmas candles everywhere on TikTok and Pinterest and I've really wanted one so I'm gonna try to make one myself. So you guys if you don't like like these candles you can find some different ones on Pinterest that you can like take inspiration from. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make these little Christmas candles now. So I have this really old candle that is literally broken as you guys can see so I'm gonna chop this candle up to small pieces if you know what I mean. And as you guys can see I've now chopped my two candles into smaller pieces so I also have two wicks now so I can actually make two candles but I think I'm just gonna make one for today. What I'm now going to do is take the pieces that I want. You can also blend two different candles to make a different colour if you want. But I think I'm just going to go with this colour because I think it's quite pretty. I'm now going to melt the candle in the pot. So I found this old little glass that I had or like jar. It's from like a jam jar I think it's called. So you can also just use a cup or something. Of course it has to be out of glass, not out of plastic because it might melt. So I'm going to use this and when my candle has melted, I'm going to pour really carefully pour it into this little jar. So as you guys can see, I've just put the wick in and put a little clip on top. Let me show you guys. Like this so it doesn't fall in. So yeah, I'm now going to be pouring the um, candle inside. You need to be very careful because it's very hot. Sunday mornings hiding under cover 
lovers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me So this is the finished result of my candle Um, The reason that it has these like weird like spots and stuff on it if you have noticed is because I did something wrong when I was like I poured the wax in this jar and then I poured it out again with which made this like annoying white spot thing um so yeah if you guys make this it will it will not have this just to point that out but overall I feel like it turned out so adorable I'm actually so happy with this DIY and it was literally so easy to you so yeah so for this next DIY, it's kind of hard to explain it, but it's basically just this little Christmas tree, Christmas decoration that you can just have in your room. It's really hard to explain it because I don't have any pictures to show you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys how I make it and then at the end you'll see the finished product. So now let's just get into the next DIY. So basically what you'll be needing for this next DIY is just a big piece of fabric and some cardboard. As you can see right here I ended up choosing this pink fabric that I just had laying around and I found this really big piece of cardboard. So what you'll do next is just draw out um, a Christmas tree. You can find some Christmas tree like drawings on the internet if you don't really know what it looks like. And after that you cut out the Christmas tree. As you can see this is how my Christmas tree ended up looking um, <laughs> and Akuno like, you know, didn't want to leave it alone. Um, after that you put the Christmas tree on your piece of fabric and trace around the Christmas tree as you can see that I'm doing right here. When you've done that you just cut it out. So as you guys can see I just cut out the fabric and I also cut right in here in the corner in a way so you can fold in all the excess fabric because you don't want that in your Christmas tree of course. I don't know if I'm explaining it well enough but I'm showing you guys how to do it so as you can see right here this is kind of how I folded it in. So I just folded in all the excess fabric like this, this is just how it ended up looking in the back. You won't really see the back so it doesn't really matter but this is how it looks in the front, it looks super cute. After that you cut out a little piece of cardboard kind of like this or actually you cut out two, sorry, you cut out two of those and I just glued them on the back like this so it can stand up itself. This is how it looks like when it's standing up. It's super cute, I think. Um, and yeah, it stands up by itself, which is good. I then took these white pins. You can also use different things if you want to, but I just put them in the Christmas tree like that, just to give it a little bit of decoration. Then I chose between these two bows. I ended up going with the lace bow. You can also put a star on if you want to do that instead, but I thought a bow would be quite cute. So yeah, this is basically how it ended up looking. I think it turned out so cute. Okay, so with this next DIY, um, this is kind of like, I guess a boring DIY or something, but... So basically in this DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an old, boring Christmas decoration into something much cuter and prettier. So basically, let me give you guys an example really quickly. So for example, we could use this little Christmas tree. Um, it's pretty cute, but at the same time, it's kind of boring. So what you could do is either spray paint it or just paint it, like regular paint it. So that is basically what my sister did with this little nutcracker. It turned out literally so adorable. Um, before it was literally just plain, all one color. And as you can see, she also added a little bit of glitter and um, put a little bit of like diamonds and stuff on them. It's just so cute. I feel like it's just such a cute way to make an old Christmas decoration into something much cuter. And you can also see it with this decoration. I know it's not a Christmas decoration, but this is just to show you guys how you can paint your different decorations into something much cuter to fit with your room. But yeah, that was pretty much all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my, I think, four DIYs. Was it four? 
I think was four. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed all the different little DIYs that I found for you guys. And if you did, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out quite a lot. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Mwah. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go